So I feel like I've just kind of thrown you in the pool of expression trees. This is kind of scary and it's kind of big. And then all of a sudden we're doing this left, right, no type, right thing. And yada, yada, yada. Let's, let's take all this and just back up for a minute. I'm going to just get it all off the screen. I'll open up Notepad and just paste it there for my reference. I want to want to start out purely basic and go from there. Let's first of all get our funk back, our int bool. Uh, what do I call it? I think I call it test i i greater than five. And I'm just going to comment this line out. And I want to build this up one by one into an expression tree, just like the compiler did when I made this thing an expression. First things to notice is we have this 5. 5 is constant. Okay, As far as I'm concerned, this symbol in my life will represent 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 elements. 5 things I can touch. 5 dollars of its dollars. It has some meaning to me, and it will not change. Thus, it is constant to me. So I'm going to come down here and say expression. Control dot. Get the using back in there. Expression dot constant. All right, and this is a simple static method. Take some parameters, okay? The value, object value, well, it's going to be a five, and then we can go as far as passing in the type. I know that it's going to be an int, so I will say type of int, like so. And let me put my cursor on constant, control ki to bring this little pop up here, and it says creates a system dot link expression constant expression. Okay, notice the return type here is constant expression. So let me go as far as saying constant expression, const expression, gets expression.constant. All right, this constant static method is a factory method. You can go look at the factory design pattern if you want, but it's kind of a long way of just saying new constant expression, but instead of saying new constant expression, we must say expression.constant. Right, that's going to create an object right out on the heap. It's not necessarily round, but I drew it round. And let's let's see what's inside of this const expression. Const expression dot can reduce. Let's get into that later. Node type. Let's look at the node type here. Console right line const expression dot node type. And the control F5, this is just look at it. Ooh, constant. Go figure. The node type is constant. What is this node type anyway? Click on that. F12. And node type is right here. It's an expression type. All right, F12 on that. And oh, look at that. It's an enum. And it is a rather long enum. But if you'll notice, pretty much all the stuff you see here should look pretty. Straightforward box, try, throw, switch, blah, blah, all. Oh, smokes is true, type equal, poster increment. This is getting a little bit into compiler theory. If you've written a compiler, this should look familiar to you. If not, don't stress it. This is, this is all the types of expressions that we can have in C sharp. And one of those values is constant, hence the, oh, sorry, let's go back here, the node type of our constant expression will be constant. Let me just draw our constant expression. This thing is referencing this thing out on the heap. The node type, I'll say node type here is constant. All right, very good. That's one thing we've discovered about this object we created with expression.constant. Let's go a little further and see what else we can print out here. Const expression dot. Let's go down here and see what else there's. Ooh, there's type and there's value. I want to look at the type here. Uh, do you have any idea what the type of our constant expression just might be? I actually passed it in right here. Remember, int is shorthand for system.int32. So our constant expression, this 5, uh, returns an int32. Let's look at something else here. Console. Right, actually, we should, we should probably put that in here as well as our object here. So the type, type is I'm going to cheat here system dot oh that's that's huge let's just say int 32 all right I don't maybe I should change the font on that all right console right line oh get that away uh, console right line const expression dot hey what's the value gets the value of the constant expression right there okay let's try that one out control f5 what do you think the value of this constant expression will be 
Well, hopefully you guessed it. It's a 5. <laughs> that is the value of our constant expression. It is literally a 5. All right, so I'm going to go out here on the heap. And for value, I will say the value is a 5. All right, so don't make this harder than it really is. The compiler saw our 5 here. All right, when we said expression like this, we said expression. I better do this properly. Expression like so, and we can even uncomment it. That's, that doesn't really matter anymore. But the compiler sees this 5 here and says, oh, okay, that's a constant. It's an int. So I'll just say expression.constant 5 of int. And then at runtime, when this, this method executes, it will create a constant expression object, the same as I drew out here. And it'll set its node type to constant, because it is a constant expression. And then the, the type of the constant expression, well, this returns a 5 or an int. It returns an int. The value, however, is a 5. So all that information is stored right here in this object that is sitting out on the heap. And I can certainly write out those properties. When I say node type, it'll grab the node type value of that enum. When I say const expression type, it'll give me the type that the const expression returns. When I say const expression dot value, it actually gives me the value. Let me control F5 that and just show you all that again. Constant is the node type. Int32 is the type of the expression. And 5 is the actual value returned by that expression. So there you go. I've, I've spent seven minutes picking apart just one piece of the the uh, l whole entire lambda expression here. In the next videos I'm going to continue with that, but I'm also going to talk about expressions. If you've written a compiler, you should be comfortable with expressions. If you need a review, I'm going to give it to you. If you don't understand and really under know what expressions are, that's fine. I'm going to start at your level. Okay, we'll talk about that in the upcoming videos.